What's going on, y'all? V, Brandon Prouts here with another episode of Fury Addict. So, I'm gonna try and do this one as one shot, one take as humanly possible. Uh, this isn't the episode of Fury Addict that I planned on doing for the next one, but as is so often the case, something happened. I found a new theory or something else happened, and I am recording this as a result of that. Again, this is pretty much completely unscripted. These are just my thoughts. I just got done watching uh, Llamas with Hats number 12, I believe. The final episode of Llamas uh, with Hats. Sorry for hitting the microphone there. And I have some opinions on that. I've read a few comments, and I wanted to make a quick video on that. Now, Obviously, this should go without saying, but because of how recent it is, I'm going to say it. Spoiler alert aplenty. If you guys have not seen Llamas with Hats, uh, go check it out. Each episode's like a minute and a half, two minutes long. It's not going to take a whole lot of time. But, uh, yeah. Fucking spoiler alert, just in case. So, yeah, Llamas with Hats came back not that long ago, and it took a uh, dramatic shift as far as the vibe of it goes. Now, Llamas with Hats has always been pretty dark and grim and a gallows comedy kind of way, and obviously very disturbing, but the last few episodes have been uh, uh, disturbing, but in a very different way. Um, to kind of sum up everything that's happened to those of you who haven't seen it, uh, to which I would say, why the fuck are you still, uh, listening to this? Each episode is 90 to 120 seconds long, it wouldn't take that long to watch them all to get a better understanding of what I'm talking about and then come back to this video, but whatever. Uh, in the last few episodes, we see a mask of Paul, you know, the llama that doesn't kill everyone, uh, gain sentience and tell Carl that he needs to finish his work. Uh, over the next few episodes, we see Carl putting himself through unbelievable amounts of pain and suffering uh, in his quest to uh, finish his work, which basically means killing every living thing on the planet. He succeeds, leaving him... Uh, nothing but him and the mask. The mask, who's been trying to pass himself off as Paul, continues to remind Carl to finish his work, and Carl eventually feels that this mask is not actually Paul. Carl goes to find Paul, uh, only to see a skeleton. The mask loses all sentience, staying around his neck, uh, leaving Paul alone to lament the loss of his only real friend and companion. Uh, to Pacamel's Canon D, which I thought was a wonderful touch, uh, we see snippets of Carl's destruction, and we go to a bridge that Carl is standing on, openly mourning the loss of his friend, uh, before plummeting to his death. Now, we can go a few different routes with this, but there's two that I want to discuss. Uh, the first is that this is, in a sense, Film Cow getting even with us. Um, with the people who constantly badger uh, him to make sequels to already established series instead of working on new projects. Well, we got exactly what we asked for, which uh, turned out to be a really good lesson and too much of a good thing. Uh, we the people who demanded more and more uh, from Film Cow were, in a sense, playing the role of the mask causing this destruction and a tragic ending. Uh, and in the comment section of the video, I've seen a few other people who agree with this train of, th uh, train of thought, which is uh, kind of cool. But um, as far as actual fan theories go, since this is an episode of Theory Addict, uh, my favorite one is thus, and I'm kind of taking a few theories, throwing them together, paraphrasing a little bit, so bear with me here. Um, after losing Paul, Carl has nothing, uh, and this is why his mind created the Paul Mask. Carl continues on this path of destruction, but it was never good enough for him, because he didn't have Paul there to reprehend him for it. Uh, think of it like this. Paul was kind of like that child who went out of their way to get in trouble to get their parents' attention. Uh, but in this case, it never happened. He never got his sixth sense of satisfaction, uh, causing ma the mask, again a figment of his imagination, uh, to push him to do more and more and more until it was only Carl 
and this creation of his mind still pushing him to do more. Once Carl discovered Paul's fate, the mask vanishes because Paul realizes that this was all for naught. Uh, there was no reason to continue doing anything because he lost the sole reason he acted out. He lost his parents, so to speak, so realizing that he had nothing and that there was nothing left due to his actions, uh, he took his own life. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you are sitting there thinking, dude, you are way overthinking this, it's just a silly cartoon on the internet. Uh, keep in mind that that's kind of the point of Theory Attic, taking something and reading into it a little bit more. Now, usually, um, I don't believe any of the theories that I read. In this case, I believe both of the scenarios that I have presented toward you. I think that this is kind of what uh, Film Cow was going for. I know that Film Cow is one guy and he has an actual name, but I can't think of it right now, so I'm calling him Film Cow. Uh, yeah, that's my personal theory as to what he was going for, uh, bringing the series back, his reasoning for doing it, and his reason for doing it the the way he did, and uh, also kind of explaining the actions of, uh, of Carl a little bit, but uh, that's just my theory. Feel free, please let me know uh, what you think in the comment section down below. Now, keep in mind, um, no flame wars, please. Like, let's not fucking argue in the comment section. I reserve the right to block people if I absolutely need to. Uh, let me go ahead and throw out my cheap plugs down there in the comment section. Or, not the comment section. Down there in the description. The crotch bar, the doobly-doo, whatever the hell you want to call it. Check out all those sexy links. Pick up my latest album 100% for free. If you want to pay for it, you can. But if you don't want to pay for it, that's perfectly fine. Just download it. If you have a little bit of extra money, though, why don't you go ahead and pick up a t-shirt or go to my channel and click that donations page. Uh, check out all the other um, sexy channels down there in the description. Check out Imperial Wrestling Entertainment and Lavender Fox's shop on Facebook. Follow me on all the social media sites. Join the Chameleon Couch Productions Facebook fan group. Links to all of this down there in the description. But hey, most importantly... Remember to like, comment, subscribe. The Brandon Brownson, signing out.